Hello everybody, welcome into this new video of TechPress. Welcome guys to Google Workspace. The actual Google Workspace, I'm going to be showing you how we can get started into the actual team and all the sizes connected to create and collaborate here. A flexible innovation solution for people and organizations to achieve more for small businesses. And it's actually really, really simple to get started. So the very first thing you wanted to do is to go into workspace.google.com. Once you're in here, you want to locate the get started section. I'm going to hit this option. And then this one is going to be asking us to have our actual business name, the number of employees, including yourself, of course, and the region where you're actually going to be working on. In my case, I'm just going to be focusing into the United States, the, this option, and then let's go and look out for something a little bit small. Let's say um, 2 out of 9 or 10 out of 99. I can strongly suggest you to start from here since we are having like a small business and we know that we are gradually going to be constantly getting more more people into our business. So here I'm going to type the name of my business and after that I'm going to go into next. In my case I'm going to hit now here. Now it's going to be asking what's your contact information. What you want to do is to input your first, your last name and the current email address is really important that you choose a Google address in order to continue. If you don't have that, you can create a new one uh, right into the actual Google or gmail.com. And now I'm going to be asking, does your business have a domain? This is not exactly uh, required, but it's strongly advisable that you have one uh, domain already being enabled. If you don't have one, I can totally suggest you to open your tab and look out for namecheap.com. And here you can find a lot, but really, really a lot of domains for an actual cheap price. So let's say, for example, that I'm going to be looking for a domain with the actual name of my company. I'm going to hit into searched. Maybe not to look out for the .com. Maybe not to aim for the .com. But take a look here. I have this one .lat, or I'm going to scroll a little bit down to explore a little bit more of them. And I have that thing, uh, CYC and the price is less than two dollars per year which i think is like really but really 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 cheap but that's the uh, totally up to you guys in my case i do have one and actually it's inside my nail chimp so what i want to do is to type my domain here and then what i want to do is to hit now into next which is this option and then later on i'm going to go with use this domain to set up the account so let's go for this option and hit into next and now it says stay up to date. We will send you occasional emails with helpful tips, special offers. If you don't know and you want to have actually information and tips and announcements for Google Workspace, hit into OK. In our case, let's focus into no things. Educate your users. In my case, I do want to enable this option. I'm going to hit now into OK. Now, how do you sign in? You will have an actual username to sign in with your Google Workspace and to create a business email address. So I'm going to hit here. So as you can see, my Google Workspace account has now been created. It says ready to set up your business account and get administrator. This actual email working with Gmail will work through each step. So let's go into continue to the setup. Now, before we continue, it's really important that you notice that Google Workspace is going to be enabling you enabling the trial free version because this one has a flexible plan. So this one, of course, needs to be paid of $7 per user for the business starter tool or even $14. So you want to take that in mind if you want to continue, you need to make a payment after the actual free version that we all have available in here. So uh, with that being said, now let's continue. I'm gonna hit now into verify. I wanna hit into, I understand actually. I wanna read all of this information for the Google Workspace, my new account. Uh, this site, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to focus on that a lot. And now I have access to the administrator console. So I'm going to hit into next two times. And this one is going to be taking me into the dashboard of the actual administrator console. So I'm going to hit now into next. And as you can see, I have the administrator console here. So in order to get started, what I want to do is to actually protect my domain. So the very first thing I wanted to do is to hit into next hit into next once again and hit into next so what i need to do is to um, set up the actual domain in order to work into workspace so i'm going to do this really really quick for you in order to get started let's type for protect then what i want to do is to hit into i'm ready to protect my domain and then it's going to be showing us a few instructions for example let's say that we are managing using namecheap so what I want to do is to go into the Namecheap. I'm going to go into my account, into my dashboard actually. 
And here what I want to do is to type the username of my actual account. Um, what I would just need to do is to focus into this form. It says txt record from the type drop down list. Uh, click txt value. So this information is going to be really, really easy to add it. So in my case, I just went directly into this actual section. Can hit now into managed, or in my case, I'm going to focus into this one. Can hit now into managed, and here I'm going to copy this host record, this text value. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to focus into my advanced DNS settings. I want to create a new record. It needs to be a txt record. In my case, one is at, I paste the value and I have the save changes. With that being said, now I can go back into my domain. It says protect my domain and we need to check the verification process. After you have successfully done that, you can go into the burger section, which in my case is now about in here. And if you go directly into the home part, here you can see your users, the billing information, the product updates and all your domains. So in order to get started, I wanted to import the team that's going to be working with me into the Google administrator. So I'm going to go into the upper side and focus into add my user. And here I'm going to create a new filter. I'm going to type the first, the last name, the primary email and the secondary email. If they do have one of those, I'm going to hit now into add new user. And this invitation is going to be sent into the actual new uh, section. So as you can see, here's the new username, the passcode, and what I need to do now is to add another user in order to get started. So what I need to do now is to type the same actual name. I have the primary email. I hit now into add my username and all of this information are going to be provided that to my clients, to my, my, my team actually. So I'm going to hit now into done. And if I go into the show all my users, I'm going to try to reload the page so I can see all the people who are inside the administrator section. So as you can see, I have one, two, three, recently added. I can update the user. I can add more options. I can reset the passcode if I wanted to and much more. Now let's focus into the devices. Here into the devices is going to be showing you the endpoints, the Chrome devices, the Google Meet Hardware, the managed browsers, and all the sections where we can make integrations with Google Workspace to, let's say, start a meeting. It's a simple tab on the controller. We can manage browsers. We can add uh, different uh, mobile devices and, and much more information. In my case, I do not have anyone here because I have signed in yet. This is like a control where you can see how many people are inside here. And what I want to do now is to work into the Google Workspace inside the application. So you focus into apps, focus into Google Workspace. And here you can see how the service status, the calendar, the cloud search, the current drive, Gmail, and actually everything, every service that Google has to offer to us. So as you can see, I have the status on of the cloud search. I have the drives and docs off. So what I wanted to do is to enable these options in order to get started. So uh, I'm going to go now and open a new tab. I'm going to go into my Gmail to verify that this actual Google console is actually working. And I'm going to sign in using one of the emails created by me, of course. So I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to go here and let's go with add another account. And now, as you can see, we do have the verified status. So lastly, I just need to hit into activate my Gmail. You can set it up a MX record or choose in, in my case, I'm going to just hit around with the actual Gmail, hit into next. And there we go. It's really, really simple. Activating your account is now being enabled here. And now you're going to be ready to start to send stuff here into a new mail. So in my case, I'm going to go for a new mail that I have here at live.com. Let's go for trial and trial number one. So I'm going to hit now into send. I'm going to open that sent mail into live.com just to make sure that my Gmail is not being active. And there you go. It says Steven, the management. So as you can see, it's actually working. It's looking really, really fine. Um, getting started here into the Gmail of the workspace is not that hard. But what you need to take in mind is that if you go directly into your actual billing section, let's go for a payment account. And you might see that you have the subscription of a trial mode 
a trial plan here, free trial for 30 days left. So what you want to do after that, you want to add or, or create a description in order to continue here into Google. So then later on, you can use all of the features with Google using your custom domain and having your team into just one place. So with that being said, we have now covered the basics. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools of the Google and the Google Workspace, of course. Thank you once again for watching the video. Now, see you next time.